You see the kids looking out the window at the snow and they're just spellbound by it. We pulled up here on the bus and the first thing a lot of them did was just run straight to the snow to feel it. No gloves on, freezing cold hands, but it's that experience that they've never had before. Coming to a place where it's covered in white, it's almost like a dream. It's something that the kids would make up in their minds and envision. So to see it come into fruition, they're elated and you see their faces filled with joy for that first time going, it's like I'm in a movie. Falls Creek is a good choice for our kids. It's got a real family feel to it up on the mountain. So the kids feel comfortable, there's plenty of space for them to go down the runs, the instructors are relaxed. It's a nice non-pressure introduction to the slopes. It's just an amazing opportunity for kids that they may not get in their life and the character strengths they can get from coming up here, you can't put a price on that. Some of these kids are you know, 10, 11 years old and for many of them this is their first time away from home. This is a big experience for them. They're in a cabin with their mates which is really exciting. They're going to eat as a group, which is something new to them. So if from now they need to be away from home, they can do it based off the confidence that they've already done it before. I've seen kids pull up other kids if they've fallen over. Even if they fall, they get back up with a smile. It's amazing to watch. It's an opportunity for them to really build that resilience and that determination that they can then transfer to the classroom easily when they get back to school. So we actually do a maths unit that goes with the snow sports tour as well, where the kids look at the location of the runs as well as the costs of the ski hire. It's a really great opportunity to link the real world to classroom mathematics. The kids really get thrown out of their comfort zone and that's when the best learning can take place. And the fact that they get to build snowmen and model it, mould it, all those different layers, it's actually very scientific. And the fact that the kids see it, they're like, oh, I never knew this. It's all different and it's the same with the kids in the classroom. We've got kids who love their reading, love their writing, and we've got other kids who are more sporty, the kinesthetic learner. They learn from doing and learn from being. I think this camp gives an opportunity for both types of learners to really develop themselves. The academic learner can look at the aspects of the slopes, how they're going to ski, the mathematical side of things. For the kinesthetic learner, how fast can I go? How hard can I hit that slope? It's amazing to see those hands-on learners just shine on the slopes. And then you see them again on the bus ride home, elated, full of self-esteem, self-confidence, because they know that they've succeeded. When you're teaching and you've got 85 kids to look after, the last thing you want to worry about is the transport, getting jackets, getting boots, getting bedding and the ski hire. And we know, booking with World Strides, the process has been really easy. When I first contacted World Strides, you give them the things you're looking for, they find the best itinerary for you. They're constantly communicating, making sure there's no issues along the way. I'd be recommending this program to schools throughout Australia. There's no doubt we're going to be back next year. Look at the time we're having. Most of the kids that we've had here this week, smiles on their faces, rolling down the hills, having a great time.